the Soviets did as well. Greetings. So we stay beneath the trees. They can't hit what they can't see. How did you find this place? What brought you here? They'll cut us down, no matter where we fight. We know this land better than they ever will. Don't forget that. out people need to hear we can do it again i didn't think we could do it then and it took 10 years better to say nothing i need more wood for the fire they needed most of the lumber to repair the guard towers we'll have to make do with what we have well if they need arrowheads for the battle then i need more firewood i've already cut plenty Hmm. We can make points faster than broadheads. That should be our focus. Fires still rage in the outer districts. The last of the wooden buildings will be consumed by nightfall. The heart of our city is gone, buried beneath the ice. I can take some small solace in the fact that the Mongol invaders were killed, alongside the Prophet's warriors who died to save us. And the Prophet himself? No one has seen him since the morning after the siege ended. We need his wisdom. Now more than ever, we do not have enough food to feed those who survived. Some believe the worst is over, but I fear that is not the case. I'm sorry I can't help you right now. I need to get this generator fixed so we can send a message to the other settlements. I'll see it. I'll run out of mail before we're done here. You there! We could use some help, if that's what you're here for. I'm here to help. What can I do? We're trying to fortify as many of these towers as we can. Most of them were badly damaged in last year's floods. We've got the repairs in hand, but I need some extra supplies from around the valley. If we can get these towers repaired, it'll give us an advantage over the invaders. And it'll help us reach the upper levels of the ruined towers. Will you help? I'll see what I can round up. Thank you. Bring them back to me when you found them. Do you have the supplies we need? Here you are. This should be everything you asked for. Good, good. Leave some of the supplies in the basket there, and we'll finish the repairs. But I need you to bring the rest of the supplies down to the tower by the lakeshore. When you're done, meet me back here. There's not enough. We have to make do. Send someone to go look. Send who, exactly? Everyone's heading down to the lower village to prepare. I'm telling you, you have to improvise for now. If you want to help, you should head down to the lower village. I'd rather run out of nails. Another difficult winter for my people. There are more deaths and births now. And as the seasons pass, the young ones are becoming restless. I see them looking to the sky when the rare plane passes overhead. Wistful. Wondering. Longing. I know they are still deeply committed to the cause, but I also sense a change coming. An end to our way of life is on the horizon. 
The most recent invaders are fading from memory. But as the technology of men advances, more are bound to find our valley again. And we are bound with the fate of this place. For better, or worse. I promised to keep them safe. What have I done? We should have been ready for this. We knew better, damn it. I see. It speaks of something hidden. Not much fuel left in the torch. I think I can get four, maybe five more sheets cut for the barricades. And then we'll have to find another. I made a mistake today. One that threatens to lead to more mistakes. I spent time alone with Alia. Something I have avoided until now. She reminds me of my beloved Sophia. Whom I thought I'd long forgotten. And it opens my heart like a wound. She clouds my judgment. Even when she is not present. <laughs> I sound like a giddy child. And those days are far behind me. I must bury these old feelings deep and stay apart from my people for a time. It's gonna be a problem. I dragged the last of those cylinders out of the Soviet prison a few summers back. After that, you're back to using a hammer and chisel. There's got to be more. The Soviets have everything. visited the lower tower yet? Not yet, but I will.
There's got to be something down there. Architecture predates the rise of Eastern Orthodoxy. What were they doing here? A gold belt buckle. Decorative, but strong and functional. Hmm, it appears to be... I have left my wife in the care of these physicians. The sickness became exactly what we feared as her skin turned to scales and she lost all feeling in her extremities. They say there is nothing that can be done for her save forgive her relief from the pain and ease her passing. But she must be kept far from the city, far from me. My wife will die, and I will never see her in this world again. I will hurry to the next to meet her. <laughs> 